2023 was a year that certainly bore the marks of economic and geopolitical instability, but it was also a year of inspirational achievements and the world officially emerging from global pandemic. Join us as we highlight some of the stories that caught our attention this year in the 2023 Year in Data. 2023 will likely be remembered as the year AI truly arrived, with governments, businesses and ordinary citizens coming to grips for the benefits and risks of the technology. Businesses now recognise AI's potential, accelerating adoption in the AI market. The advent of AI has ignited a wave of disruption across industries, from healthcare to finance, manufacturing to entertainment. With AI leveraging advancements in machine learning, AI tools are getting better at creating realistic and coherent text, images and music. Pop culture welcomed a new phenomenon in 2023, with the term Barbenheimer entering the vernacular. A portmanteau of Greta Gerwig's Barbie and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, the two films were at opposite ends of the spectrum, one bursting with colour and the other making use of black and white film. Movie theatres were abuzz with Barbenheimer fever over opening weekend, a welcome relief to an industry that suffered heavily during COVID-19 restrictions. Barbie became the movie of the highest grossing weekend in history, and Oppenheimer also managed to make it into the top 10. Could it be a while before we see such a major release again? The writer and actor strikes of 2023 could have a major effect on the release pipeline, with billions of dollars in spending put on hold. Staying with entertainment, Taylor Swift had a huge impact this year. The Taylor Swift era's tour concert movie also stands among the highest grossing films of the year, while the tour itself became the highest grossing tour in history. It seems hard to imagine now, but it was only in 2023 that the COVID-19 pandemic officially ended. In January 2023, the Chinese zero COVID policy came to a close, the end of some of the most severe restrictions seen globally. Despite a rebound in the number of cases, the World Health Organization declared the end of COVID-19 as a pandemic in May. In addition to low immunity levels, the pandemic was a factor making people more prone to mental health issues, with increasing diagnoses of anxiety and depression. Social media has also been identified as potentially harming mental health, especially among younger generations. As a result, dozens of US states have started proceedings aimed at Instagram. The same issues with self-esteem seen among social media users could also be behind a rise in the use of weight loss medication. 2023 saw the value of Danish company Novo Nordisk rise as its two drugs to treat diabetes, Ozempic and Wegovy, started to be used for weight loss. Rising prices and inflation stood out as one of the biggest worries for people in 2023, with prices rising ever higher fueling a cost of living crisis for many. Low-income countries in particular saw extreme inflation rates well above the global average. While prices are still rising, the rate at which they are increasing is at least slowing down. And it was rising prices that helped drive sales for online retailers selling items at steep discounts. 2023 was a particularly strong year for a number of online retailers, including Timu, Xi'an and even TikTok getting in on the act. Health and beauty products were an early favourite after the TikTok shop opened to US customers, showing the power of influencers to direct sales on the platform. Xi'an, a Chinese brand based in Singapore, was among the most popular fashion and apparel websites in 2023, and shoppers found the bargain prices of Timu irresistible. With World Cups in cricket, rugby, netball and women's football taking place alongside annual tournaments, 2023 was an epic year for sport. The 2023 Tour de France became one of the fastest in history, with Danish rider Jonas Vindegar winning the Tour at an average of 41.43 km per hour. And on four wheels, Mats Verstappen took a torch to the F1 record books during his dominant run to a third World Drivers' Championship. The FIFA Women's World Cup headlined a breakout year for women's sports, the biggest and best attended Women's World Cup of all time. With 92,000 spectators, the Nebraska vs. Omaha volleyball match became the highest attended women's sporting event in history, and Women's T20 World Cup became the most watched women's cricket event ever. The 2023 edition of COP28 finalised the first global stock taking and set new emission targets. As fossil fuels have been recognised as the main climate change issue, renewed importance has been given to the production of clean energy. While the climate deal drew criticism for not going far enough, climatic conditions showed the need for action, with 2023 now in the books as the hottest year in recorded history. Not surprising then, that 2023 featured a number of natural calamities directly connected with climate change. Away from climate change, Turkey and Syria suffered the most devastating natural disaster of the year, 
with an earthquake registering up to a magnitude of 7.6, claiming the lives of more than 55,000 people. Conflicts have dominated the news cycle in 2023. In February, fighting broke out between the Somaliland National Army and Dul Bahante militias. Then in April, a war broke out between rival factions of the military government of Sudan, killing and injuring thousands, as well as displacing more than 6 million citizens. In Europe, the Russia-Ukraine war shows no end in sight, with Russian President Vladimir Putin stating there will be peace in Ukraine when we achieve our objectives. Those objectives do not change. Fighting escalated in the Gaza region after Hamas-led militant groups launched a surprise attack on October 7. Since then, with the retaliation attacks by the Israeli armed forces, it is estimated that approximately 19,500 people have lost their lives. A shift on global demographics was recorded in April 2023, when India overtook China as the world's most populous country. The global population is forecast to keep growing for the next several decades. From demographics to politics, election results in some parts of the world showed a trend to the right. The trend was particularly observable in Europe. In the Netherlands, far-right populist party PVV achieved 23.6% of the vote, with an election programme that included a desire to ban mosques and Islamic schools from the Netherlands. Far-right parties now feature prominently in several European countries. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this look at some of the major stories of 2023. To keep up with need-to-know data in 2024, head over to statista.com and we'll see you next year.